Hello and welcome to marketing91.com. Let's start with the types of methods to measure national income. There are three methods of computing national income. Value added or inventory or census or the product method, which is the sum of products flowing from various sectors of the economy. Income method, which is the total income derived using the factors of production. Expenditure method, which is the total expenditure on the consumption of goods and services. Any of these methods will give the same figure because output equals income equals expenditure. In this method, the value of gross national product or GNP of all the producers in an industry is added. From this sum, we deduct the value of purchases made by these producers from other producers and the depreciation of the equipment involved in the production process. Step 1 is to calculate the GNP or gross national income or GNI. GNP can be classified as follows. Consumption goods and services, C, which includes the money value of all types of consumer goods, durable and perishable, and the services directly rendered to consumers. Private domestic investment, I, which includes the money value of all types of capital goods and inventories produced, including raw materials and new buildings constructed during the year. Government purchases, or G, that is the money value of all goods except those goods that are directly sold to the end consumers by public enterprises and services except transferable payments made by the government. And net foreign investment, XM, which refers to the net difference between the total receipts form and total payments to foreign countries resulting from exports and imports of goods and services and other international transactions during a year. Step 2 is to calculate the net national product or NNP or net national income or NNI. To calculate NNP or NNI at market prices, that is NNPMP, deduct capital consumption and depreciation reserves from the GNPMP. To calculate NNP or NNI at factor prices, that is NNPFC, deduct indirect taxes and the additions to subsidies. There are two alternative approaches for measuring national income using the output method. Final goods method. This method only considers the final value of goods and services to estimate the GNP. Value added method. In this method, the value added to each stage of production is calculated and added to obtain the total value of the final output. This method is considered better because it avoids double counting. The next type is the income method. In this method, national income is calculated by adding the incomes of all individuals and organizations, including public bodies in the country, from all sources during a financial year. National income equals rent plus wages plus interest plus profit. National income is the sum of the following seven incomes. Labor incomes. This includes 1. Salaries and wages in the form of cash, bonuses and commissions. 2. Employer's contribution to workers' welfare and social security. And three, compensation in kind such as lodging, boarding and education. Net rental value. This refers to the income received by real property owners in the form of return on value and royalties. Net interest. This refers to the income received from private businesses such as loans, mortgages, bank deposits and insurance policies. Net corporation profits. These may be distributed as dividend kept as reserves or payable as taxes. Mixed incomes. This refers to the net income of self-employed individuals and contains elements of rent, wages, interest and profit. Net income from abroad. This is the net difference between the receipt from exports and payments for imports. Net profits of government enterprises. This includes the incomes paid in the form of housing, feeding and other services to forces. Gross national product at factor cost, GNPFC, can be obtained by adding depreciation reserves to NNPFC. Gross national product at market price or GNPMP can be obtained by adding indirect taxes and deducting subsidies from GNPFC. The last type is the expenditure method. This method involves the measurement of national income with respect to the aggregate expenditure of the community on consumption and investment goods during a year. National output or income must be equal to the total expenditure for the following items. Consumer goods and services, expenditure on consumer items such as food, clothing, furniture, rents and education. 
capital goods in the private sector, expenditure on capital goods in inventories, as well as all additions to real physical assets, government consumption and investment, payments to government employees and interest on loans for revenue yielding assets, net factor income from abroad, the net difference between income received by the residents and payments made to foreigners. Net national product at factor cost, NNPFC, is calculated by adding the above four items. Net national product at market price, or NNPMP, is obtained by deducting capital consumption and depreciation reserves from the GNPMP. Limitations in the measurement of national income are Double counting Non-monetary transactions Transferable incomes Government incomes Difficult to estimate depreciation. Incorrect inventory estimation. Capital gains not included. Difficult to estimate imputed values. Difficult to measure illegal activities. And statistical data not accurate. Moving on to deflator. A deflator is a statistical tool used to convert purchasing power to inflation-adjusted purchasing power to allow better comparison between prices and account for inflation at various points in time. The GDP implied deflator is a measure of the overall change in the price level of the economy. It is an important indicator of national accounts because it distinguishes output growth owing to volume increase and price changes. In India, the Office for National Statistics or ONS is authorized to obtain information regarding the constant and current price volume measures and the deflator. Construction of the GDP deflator includes Price index. It is a measure of the average price level of a specified set of goods and services relative to the prices in a specified base year. GDP deflator is a price index that measures the overall price level of goods and services that are included in the GDP. GDP deflator equals nominal GDP by real GDP into 100. Thus, the GDP deflator denotes the amount by which nominal GDP must be divided or deflated to obtain real GDP. For example, according to this table, GDP deflator in 2000 base year equals 60,000 by 60,000 into 100 equals 100%. GDP deflator in 2016 current year equals 66,000 by 62,000 into 100 equals more than 106%. The level of prices is 6.5% higher in the current year, 2016, than in the base year, 2000. Thus, the GDP deflator measures inflation. Thank you.